For 27 years, one society has existed in the Pine Belt, bringing beauty to our city. Jacqueline Coleman has the story. When people all over Alabama and Mississippi vote on their favorite flower, and it has won the popularity poll numerous times, and it's just, it just makes me feel good when I see it. <laughs> it's called a suburban Nancy Gale flower, named after Nancy Chain, a member of the Hattiesburg Daylily Society. I'm, my mother and daddy both love flowers and especially my mother. Her fascination with flowers started as a young child, and as years went on, she joined the society in the 2000s. The daylily is designated as Hattiesburg's official flower. It's different for different people. Some people do it as a business. Some people do it as a hobby, recreation. People have been in it for 45 years as our host here. And some have been in it for just a few years. From daylily seed to bloom, these flowers usually peak around April and May, where residents can view a field full of colorful flowers. For many, the hobby is a way to relax and escape stress. I never will forget the time uh, right after Katrina, we went to a daylily show on the coast, and a lady came by with a bag full of daylilies, and she said, oh, I just got me some happy flowers. And that, that's the way it is. They make you happy. Flower enthusiasts are gearing up for next year's national convention here in the Hub City in May 2021. We expect 450 to 500 daylily enthusiasts from all over the United States, some international guests, that will descend on Hattiesburg to come look at our gardens. For more information on how to join, you can visit our website. In Lamar County, I'm Jacqueline Coleman.